When it comes to book folding, there's loads of different techniques. And what I mean by that, you've actually got simple words like, like the belief one here. So that's done with measuring folds. But then you've also got the two liners with measuring. And the new thing that's in is the 3D. So for example, these lovely little hedgehogs. And these are so cute. And these are made out of a soft back. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, it's made up of two folds. And you do need to have a soft back book, so a paperback book. And I've taken the cover off, totally off here. And then you're going to start off with taking the end and folding up to the spine like so. And then what you're going to do is on that one, you're going to take the edge of this side up and fold in that in, up to the spine. And once you've done that, use your bone folder, recrease those lines, and there's one fold. Repeat the same thing, fold down like so. Keep on going and then fold into the spine, always into the spine, that gives the spikiness of the hedgehog. Now, depending on the size of the book, will tell you the size or the width of your hedgehog. And literally keep on going all the way through. Now, when it comes to the number of pages, I would recommend that you have a minimum of 150. So you can see that starting to come together. And here's one whoops, that I've already done. So many few, and you can see it's growing. And then the next stage, you can see it's all come through. Now, when it comes to almost the end, what you need to do is press down. And these are the ones that are tricky. The last two are very tricky. Fold right into the spine, like that, into there. And then make sure, it's, what's very important is that you make sure that they're totally flat as well, like that. And then we're gonna do two more, fold into there like so, and then fold into the spine. And obviously you have to appreciate that you just really, you're doubling up the spine content. And that's why you find the last three, I would say, is very tricky. And then the last one, like so, fold into the spine. And once you've done, so there's my little hedgehog, look at that. You then get some card, draw around it and put a base in. And don't forget to decorate and put the little, uh, I've used buttons on those and a little bit of ribbon. And then you've got two little sizes. So have a go and happy crafting.